What's up guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to another episode of JDTV Co! In this episode I named it, I'm gonna give it two names, ready? Take a stand and turn the world green. Two separate subjects. Take a stand and turn the world green. Everybody likes green, right Nick? Big green. So what do we do? We change the world. We said, you know what? Everything can be made green, right? It's just uh, smoke and mirrors. It's dependent upon how crazy you want to get. <sighs> Tastes like money. This is the uh, Gene Tika Holds All. We talked about these before. You bolt it on the side of your toolbox. You can put anything you want in it. You can put cordless tools, pry bars, vice grips, extensions, anything you want, right? Yeah. How much are they? Uh, $38. And I know they're made in China. That's a lot. <laughs> Where do they make? They made in USA. <clears throat> I, got some ice. I got something in my throat. Look at that green shit you're drinking. This is just water. Juice. Oh, hang on. Let me take this call. This they, they took my they. I've been trying to order a stapler for two weeks, and they finally called me back. I swear to God. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this too. We can pause that. Hello. 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 I'm here. I bought a stapler yesterday. I'm sorry. Two weeks ago, I bought a stapler, an automatic stapler for some of our manufacturing process. I had a f***ing beautiful one, but my crew decided to break it. It was a 1973 model, brand new in the box. I bought it off eBay. It was a work of art. Right, Frank? You ever used a stapler? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, nice. right? Nice. And somebody broke the goddamn thing. I was so f***ing mad I wanted to kill somebody. But I didn't. I just bought another one. I didn't for break it. I didn't break it. Not it. But anyway. I just, I called up and I just ordered another, and I'm talking to this guy, he's like, let me jot this down, he's giving me a piece of paper, and he's writing, and I'm like, this place, is, this, the place is in the literal stone ages. So he's like, we're going to try to get this out to you in the next two or three days. I'm like, fantastic, you're right in Brooklyn, we're in New Jersey, I clearly need my stapler, please send me my stapler. No problem. We're a little backed up, he says. Anyway. So two, two weeks go by, and I'm like, let me call this up and ask where my stapler is. So I call up and he's like, oh, well, let me, what's your name? And he's like, I hear paper shuffling, the, 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 the what do you call it, the filing cabinet open up, the roll deck spinning. And I'm like, holy 1972, what the F is going on? So he's like, oh yeah, yeah, I got it right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get this out in the next few days. I'm like, buddy, I'm really in a jam. I need this thing. I'm using a regular stapler. And it, that's, not, that's not fun, guys, trust me. When you're stapling a thousand things, you take a little tired. So he's like, all right, listen, all right, all right. I'm going to get it out to you tomorrow, I promise. I'm like, thanks, buddy. I've been only waiting two weeks for you to put it in a box and get it over to us, but that's fine. You know, I'll wait the extra 24 hours. So I go home, my wife, my wife goes, did you buy something today for $400 from a Staplex? I can use a dream, we'll get two he, I was like, well, yeah, why? She's like, yeah, well, no, I'm just asking. I've seen it on your credit card. I said, I ordered it two weeks ago. She goes, well, they just, they just charged you for it yesterday. What's going on in America? That means they what? forgot about that it. That means they forgot about it, right? I mean, take the, the first thing you do is take the money. Then you ship the fucking tool. Right, Frankie? You get a phone call, what do you do? Answer it. Yep. And solve the problem. Take their money. You take their yeah. money, and then you ship the tool, right? Yeah. This and if it's something that's not in stock, we'll be like, listen, well, we could charge you for it and wait. We will inform them. We won't be like, hey, yeah, it's going to ship out. Oh, my God. So, like, hey, what, what, what? Oh, yeah. We're, one of our vendors, I'm not going to say their name, but they sell scanner equipment. So, we have, we have a customer who ordered something. So, we're like, you know, we needed to order it in. He's like, well, they only ship on Tuesday or Thursday. I'm Thursday, like, what? Thursdays, Thursdays and Mondays. <laughs> Thursdays. That's going to be our new shipping schedule. What? Get ready, guys. And I'm like, let me get this straight. You, you know, it's, it's, it's a fairly large company, and they ship all their products to various man to various warehouses and customers throughout the country. Probably you will. ship out Mondays and Thursdays only? Can I do that? We ship out every day. They still get yelled that we don't ship out fast enough. Could you imagine? Oh my God! Yeah. So, so. So I, I, I'm losing my mind. This guy probably asked out me because the guy's in a time warp, but they are the only company that makes the machine that I need. And they started business in 1948. And I can guarantee you one thing, that they're still using the same filing cabinet and Rolodex from 1948. What, you doubt that? No. I guarantee you get over I guarantee you the same, he, well he said he was in an original location, he told me that. 
But anyway, problems, problems, problems. But anyway, we're we're talking about green, right? Yes. So these whole dolls, forty five dollars. Thirty eight. Thirty eight dollars for the whole and it's green, and they're made in America. Ohio or Indiana or Iowa, one of them states, right? Not New Jersey. They're not made in New Jersey. They're power coated in New Jersey. They're power coated in New Jersey by Joey Boz. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, everything's easy. I gotta buy, I gotta get the steel to the guy. Guy makes them, sends them back. I send them down to the Patterson, get them powder coated, come back. Life is grand. I'm printing money over here. Hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Frank's like, yeah. I'm just so agree to everything you say now. Oh my this God. Is... So back to turning the world green. We found out that you guys like green. Me, I like green too, but I've been liking green for a long time, for many reasons. But anyway, we came out with some universal plier handles. And how much is this, Nick? $12. $12. Twelve bucks. You send us 12 bucks, we'll send you a pair of these, and he's gonna fit on, basically most of your pliers is this size. If they're smaller, we have them too. We're gonna be making a package with two, two sizes in the package. It comes with full instructions. You can put on anything you want. That's me, I designed this. This is my goddamn idea, right? Yeah. This is proprietary to me, and Nick. And where's it made, Nick? USA. USA! Don't go on anything. I'm a, you know, I was in a good mood till my phone rang. I'm a little wound up. But I'll be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reel it in. Okay. Maybe you guys have heard about the Thor Impact. Maybe you haven't. But if you haven't, it's the number one impact made. It's the high torque, jammy jammy. She, she, oh, there she is. Go ahead and butt. Anyway, how much, how much are these? Uh, 189. 189 in stock. This is the most powerful impact made according to the Torque Test channel. But the good news is, uh, listen, I'm not trying to sell the impact today. I'm just trying to tell you a story. So I, when I see a kink in the armor, you know what I do? I attack it. When I see a lull in the industry, you know what I do? I attack it. When I see a need for something, I get it done. What do I do, Nick? Attack it. Which we, everything we do is we attack, right? Yeah. So what do I do with this? No, no, what'd you do? I had boots made. They didn't, but I did. That's a nice boot. It's a beautiful boot, and it's not done. This is a prototype, but I want to show you guys first. I made a boot for the Thor Impact, okay? And if they get ass chapped, I don't care. It's a boot, it'll fit on anything you want, but it fits on this really nice. And they're gonna be in black, and they're gonna be in green. It's gonna have my logo on it, because I came out with it. So, therefore, it's mine, <clears throat> right? Yeah. I had to pay for a mold to get this made. You think it's free? It's nothing's free. You gotta spend money to make money, right, Frank? Mm -hmm. Scared money don't make big money, Frankie. Mm -hmm. Write that down. Yep. Frankie knows. Frankie knows. Mm -hmm. Frankie runs this shit. We work for Frankie. When Frankie's here, we sit back and watch the show. And other things, Vim has finally got their shipment of tools in, and I'm sure it was a huge shipment because half of it's in the store, but this came in. The mini yes. green crimping pliers. These look exactly like the white truck, or snap-on, but they're a lot cheaper. How much are these? Uh, $35. $35. I guarantee... I, you know what? I bet you snap-ons are double the price. Would you bet that? No, let's fact check. Nick's in a fact check, dude. But you, we had these in green. These are forged steel, just like the snap-on ones. Not like the other style when they were they were like, you know, these are the forged steel. Same as snap-on. And they're $35. They're in stock green. So if you want them, don't wait because this shit sells out fast. And, it, and $55 for the snap-on. $55! That's criminal! Criminal. And let me tell you something. My uh, my thing I was going to talk about today, what I'll track is taking a stand. JD Tico is taking a stand. We're at a crossroad in our lives. We can go this way or we can go this way. If we go this way, we could sell to dealers and warehouses and stuff like that. Okay? But me, I'm not ready to do that. I'd rather deal with you, the hard work of blue collar Americans. I want to cut a step out and save you guys money. And that's why corporate America doesn't like me because we want to save money to give back to you guys. That's it, you could think I'm full of shit, but I'm telling you right now, buying tools is a two-part system, a two-step system, and I'm cutting step out to give you guys better pricing. And I don't care, because at the end of the day, I'm gonna make all my own tools and sell them to you guys, the same bullshit they're selling you for less money. Right? That's what I want to do. <clears throat> and come out with new stuff that they don't even have yet. I would show you a wrench extender. I copied that because you know the, you couldn't. Nobody had an inventory of them in the country, so we had them made ourselves, <clears throat> and we sold out. And they lost half our order, but that's a whole other story. And hopefully, we'll have them in soon. Correct? Yeah, they lied to me. They told me Monday they'd be here, but they're not. They weren't here. Today's, today. today's Friday, Nick. They're yeah. they're a little behind. Yeah. Green, black, Vim magnetic holders. How much? 
Uh, twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. <clears throat> Stick it to your box. Drill to your wall. Put your can on there. Very very nice. These will change your life. See that? Mm -hmm. I like that. Well, they're magnetic. Well, yeah. Ranch extenders. While we were waiting for them, them to get in stock, we came out our own. Sorry, but this one is really nice with the handle, and you just. Right? How much is this? Fifty-five. Fifty-five dollars. A lot of fifty-dollar things. Only oh, today, but for the record, today we're doing a JD Tico mystery envelope. You send us how much, Nick? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. You get one of these envelopes, and there's going to be something here worth ten dollars. And just keep in mind that this cost us four dollars to ship. So you might get something that's you know you might be like, oh, that's only worth five dollars. Well, it costs four dollars to ship. But again, I'm going to do some good ones. You're, you're, we've been doing mystery envelopes now for two weeks. We did a fifty. We did a twenty-nine. And now we're doing ten. We're going down. Fifty was the most popular though. And not one complaint. No, no one complained. Not one Nothing complaint. No, no, no. It, 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 would you hear about it if they were complaining? What are you talking it's about? Kid? People love to hear themselves complain. It's true. So we're doing these $10. Send it to us and we'll send you something well worth $10. It's like a mystery. Right? Yeah. It's like a Pandora's box. You open it up, you don't know what's going to come out. Quick little story. I'm going to throw Nick under the bus real quick. So, so we get a call from one of our... One of our somebody... Uh, 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 we get a call on a Saturday from... Uh, of uh, uh, an Instagram guy. <clears throat> I want to stop by. Six so o'clock. I don't want to. It's two o'clock and ruin my day. I didn't never said that. I'm making all this up. This is all a lie, Nick. Can I tell my lie? Jeez, you're making me look bad. Well, then I'm gonna sweeten it. Up. You're, I'm gonna make you look like. Can I? You gotta let me go with my story, and you're gonna sell. You're gonna look like a superstar. No, I will not be slandered on YouTube. <laughs> all right. You said this episode's about taking a stand. I'll take my stand. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this guy calls up, wants to come in, Nick's like, this guy, I don't want him in the store! <laughs> Never said that. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so Nick go so Saturday, Nick goes, hey, this guy wants to come in to, to, to the shop on a Saturday. He's got a web, he's got an Instagram page, Tool Truck Rebrands. He wants to be there at 2 o'clock. I'm like, dude, on a Saturday? What's this guy out of his mind? It's me saying it. I said it, okay? I said it. So he's like, ah, oh, he's a really nice guy, you know, blah, blah. I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy is a dealer because I don't want to dealers in my store. I'm tired of giving everybody the inspiration and all my secrets. I said, don't let this in my store. I, did I say this? Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's not what he is, but okay. <laughs> so Nick goes, wait, he goes, Dad, listen. This is what this guy does. Tell us what the guy does. He goes, he, goes, he, does, he doesn't sell tools. I'm like, everybody wants to be a dealer. This guy probably wants to be a, a tool dealer. I go, I, are you sure? He's a nice good guy. So I quick check his page out. He seemed he seemed legit. So I let him in. I let him into the dragon's lair. So in walks this guy, right? He was, he, I want to say kid because he was a younger guy. But in walks this guy. He was dressed to the tents, right? Yeah, very well dressed. Him good looking, partner, very well good dressed. looking guy. Yeah, two guys walk in. They, they were like the nicest guys in the world. And come to find out, I don't want to say what the guy does, but he's got a multi, multi <clears throat> business. I don't want to say what it is because he does a lot of government work and he was a super, super, super nice guy. He was here for probably two hours, gave him a full tour, welcomed him in. We had good conversation. Good conversation. What a good, what a good guy, man. And listen, it's so funny because like at the end of the day, trust me. He doesn't want to have anything to do with the tool business. He just is is a, a collector. He's, he's a tool collector and a fan of the of the the inner workings of the tool manufacturers. And a dirty little secret in the business. But yeah, he was a super nice guy. It was so funny because like he was the total opposite. I thought he was like some guy trying to like you know re re sell tools and this and that. But he was like his exact words were "tool truck rebrands" is a blog that got a little out of hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it was it was definitely definitely funny. But yeah, shout out, what's his name? Paris. Say, Paris. Shout out, Paris. It was nice meeting you. And uh, definitely a unique individual. And I hope we hang out again. And I told him, I said, come up, we'll go out for dinner. So yeah, I think I think, I think 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 we made a friendship too. He's just seemed like a really yeah, nice very guy. Nice, very nice. Good guy. Very good guy. This set got a lot of attention, right? Yes. This is the new Vim 800 piece set. There's a million pieces in this set. This will change your life. Or it's 89. practically free. What's that? Or 89 pieces. I can't exaggerate a little bit. That's that's a gross one million oh, pieces no. in this set. Is it, everything's in here? Well, hey, shit happened.
like a battle wound, kid. You gotta. But this is the most unique feature of this thing. What the tongue fell out here? I got my glass. I can't see. Is there something on the table? Super fine tooth, locking flex head, and it's got this little zip zip in here. Where, where, where's the thing that goes in here? Oh, no, it's extension, right? It's an extension. Oh, yeah, yeah. Use it as a T handle. You put, yeah, you put the bits in there. There you go. You put the bits in there. Ratchet. This is nice, man. Guys, you got don't sleep on this. This is nice. Doesn't it tee somehow too? Well, that's an extent. Ex it can be. Do I have to come over there and demo? Oh, I got it! I got! I got it! I got! I got it! I remember my first time being in business like that. Yeah, so it'll do that. A T handle, or you can take it out. It's a little tough to get out. Or you an extension. Wow. Or I guess you could use it like that. Or now you have a oh a long mini boy. breaker bar. See if you could break that. And uh, how much is this again, Nick? Uh, one hundred and thirty-two dollars. One hundred thirty-two dollars, and it's one million pieces are in here. Okay, one million pieces. Right, one million. Yeah. Here, Frank. While you're sitting there doing nothing, put the thing back together. Oh, this one. Oh, there you go. Okay. And guys, I don't know how I didn't sell a million of these yet. Right. The biggest question is the adapters that come with it. What do you mean? Like, guy. I think the only reason guys are apprehensive about it is because there's I sold these in my route I sell them, I, I walk up to the guy I hand it to him and I give him the price you know what he says get a check yeah I know but a lot of guys want to know what's inside of it I everything's it. inside of it okay you got a John Deere tractor it'll do it you got a caterpillar it'll do it you got a Cummins it'll do it question like answer to the question though they want they want specifics okay well I'm sorry well why don't you guys, uh, you know, why don't you put a, well, you know what? I sent a couple of guys pictures of it this day. Yeah, I mean, if you go on TikTok, there's a, there's a literal picture of this of everything that's on here. There is. And how much is this? Uh, 229 I guarantee you go to your local cat dealer and buy the Caterpillar adapter, it's going to be more than that. For one adapter. You dumb son of a bitch, buy this. What? I call him out. I can't call him out? Frank, what are you doing? You working today? Yeah, I'm doing what you just told me, though. I'm reorganizing. <laughs> Reminds me of when you dumped the vessel bit and I had to go dumpster diving for it in the trash. Oh, that was bad. Again. That was so bad. Can do it again? One of, one of our friends is a police officer in an unnamed town in New Jersey. Oh. <laughs> so he he had on a Gene Tico shirt. So was, he, was, so he was out somewhere. And he, he went to work. He, at, was at work? Yeah. He was, he was at work. And the guy says, oh. He goes, you, you follow him guys on YouTube, too? Or, you know, on the app, whatever. He's like... Follow him. I sleep on our couch. <laughs> <laughs> family at this point. He's like, you know them? He's like, yeah, I know them. Well, hang on. I, I got a couple. I dealt with two idiots this morning. One of my, one of our, our, our affiliates came in and he's like, hey, did that guy ever call? Did Scott ever call you back? That's, <laughs> did Scott ever call you back? I'm like, you know what? I go, F that guy. He's like, really? I'm like, dude, I'm done with that guy. That guy's a fucking clown. He's like, he said he's a joke. I said, he's a f***ing joke. This is a guy, he works for corporate America, one of the biggest plier manufacturers in the country. Not China, not Taiwan, this country. I've been trying to get pliers made from this f***ing joke, this clown, for how long, Nick? Two years. Two years. Two years. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I, I'm sorry, I didn't call you back. I'll call you back. in a previous episode, too. I didn't give his goddamn names. I was trying to be nice. Now I'm not nice. I'm done. You can stick your pliers up your ass. And I'm being serious. I sold over a thousand pair of my flush cut because that won't even pick up my phone. What? It's true. We'll stop you when you're wrong. No, it, it, and I've talked about this numerous times. American companies don't give two shits. When they're out of business, like, ah, oh, we don't know what happened. We went out of business. Because you didn't pick up your goddamn phone. Oh my God, did I call the other clown up today? Local importer, big product line. Don't want to say the product line because I'm not running Burnish Bridge just yet because it's less than three hours old. <laughs> and he's like, you know, uh, you know, what do you do now? What, do you, what brand do you sell? And I said, I sell this brand. Well, who do you buy that brand from? I go, I, I buy that brand. Well, who do you buy it from? I don't really think it's in your business. I'm like, well, buddy, I said, I really don't want to tell you where I get the brand. Well, I, 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 you know, I want to know where you got that brand from. I'm like, I go, dude, we just, we just met. And I'm not gonna tell you all my inside trade secrets. Well, why don't you tell me where you get your brand from? Dude, I can't do that. Well, I can't do that either. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? Come on in, I'll put my pants down for you. Bad enough, whatever I do on here, some other has to be copied tomorrow anyway. That's the truth. That's the truth. Oh my god. How about being your own boat? How about being your own person? How about rowing your own boat? What happened to that in America? That's too that's too hard. Oh, you want oh, hang on. you want me to do the work myself and figure yeah. this out? Whoa! I wanna copy I wanna copy Nick, see what he does. It's so easy. It's easier! I'll just do everything he does, and if it works, it works. If not, I'll do what he does tomorrow. I know, I know, I know.
But listen, at the end of the day, 37 years I'm doing this, selling online for 12, walk-in location, I guess we're knocking on going to be three years, four years in total. What do I know? The only thing I'm doing is YouTube and TikTok. Oh, hey guys, listen to what you're saying right here. Come for the price, stay for the shit show. And this train is just getting, just, let me tell you something. The f models against the dash and I'm ready to wreck the f industry. Get ready. Hold on. Peace.